All right, so it's been a few days since I basically played this game. Um, my cold has improved a little bit since then, but I'm still having to like, you know, sniff a little bit and stuff like that, so bear with me. In the darkness of endless... Let's continue on. The world awaited a sign from the heavens. For many years, Nevendar laid in idle ruin. It had seen neither the miseries of war, nor the repose of peace. Alright, so, where was I? I guess she's going to fight this golem over here. Uh, he's just going to fire around that guy a little bit more. And this guy's just having fun, doing whatever. Let's see here, we got a few wolves here with plague wolves and stuff. There's the mercenary cap up there. Alright, figuring out my gist of what's going on, let's just get this going then. So, what's in his turn? Looks like it's turn of night, but whatever, that's fine, we can fight this guy at night. This guy has an area strike apparently, but it's melee based, so basically if this guy gets close to him, he's going to do a lot of damage. But if I basically keep my distance, then like, you know, it should be fine. Now, what if this guy's going to hit like three around him, or he's going to hit on a line or something like that? Let's take him on. I'll leave the Witch Hunter aside for now, because I also want to basically hit this guy at range, so we'll do that. Alright, so let's have you pelt this guy. Fly. Nice bit hit to him. Apparently my priestess is gonna go before um this guy, this is very nice. So let's give the battle nation a nice boost in his initiative. That boosts him ahead of this guy so you make him attack. Let's do this. It's going to walk for one. Oh! He hits everyone around him. I stand ready. Or, yeah, not that he hits everyone around him. He hits everyone on the field. Well, that's kind of a nuisance. He's going to actually be kind of a, you know, a de deadly threat if that's the case. Um, move you up here then. Defend yourself. Basically, it's all about taking this guy down before he takes me down then. Uh, let's keep firing. We well, actually hurts initiative too. So my guy's gonna get slower as they go along. That's not good. Um Who took the most damage here? Probably actually you. Do yourself up a little bit. Let's get you over here and attack him Lee, see what that does. He's going to intercept apparently. He can do that apparently. Well that's unfortunate, she got critically hit there. 
Um, and what's also unfortunate is this guy's going to be able to hit like her regardless of where I put her up, so there's also that, but... Um, no, I'm actually going to do a bat. Let's have you go here, I guess, and fire. Let's go here. He's walking around now, apparently. Let's heal you up a little bit. I missed that one, but oh well. Now, one thing about doing here, we're just going to have you put up my friend here with the, um... Yeah, this one. Just put her right up here and she can heal him up to, uh, you know, keep her alive. Uh-oh! I didn't move that guy, so... Okay, well, never mind. He decided to attack anyways. Um... Let's go over here, then. If I get into that spot, I can, like, you know, power him with a little bit more damage, which would be nice. You know, just to make sure this guy keeps alive, let's just drop this on him. And there we go, this will hurt him a lot. There we go. Now he's gonna get attacked, I think, here, but whatever. Uh, critical hits, why not? Oh, my wizard's gonna get attacked now. Well, he didn't get critically hit that time, at least. Alright, I want you to... Actually, distract this guy if you can. Not sure it really matters to this guy, apparently, but whatever. Um, you can go... Down here. And how will you dro drop this item on... You? Keep her alive. You can go here and heal him up. And you can just zap him. Alright, let's see here. You're gonna wait. You dare stand us? You're gonna drop another one of these, get our archer up. You can heal up the archer to keep him alive. You're going to go down here and fire. Nice big critical hit to it. Of course, now I can't hit him at this range, but whatever, it's fine. He's injured quite a bit. Ouch. Okay, let's have you go here and zap it. Um, heal her, I guess. For the Empire. 
And you can just attack, I guess. Well, I got an intercept at least. So I get to attack again. Yeah, I can't hit this guy at this range, so I'll have to step up to him. So let's go here. Nice big hit to it. And then I'll set him over here and I'll finish it off. Hopefully I get a lot of experience from this guy. He cost me quite a bit. Kind of lacking experience for that fight, but whatever. Well, anyways, that opens up the area up here to explore for me, so... We can get to these, like, orcs, perhaps, at some point. You know, what if I could have gotten over here a little bit easier this way? Who knows? Well, I do notice that she leveled up, so, uh, that's cool. Let's actually get her... Command. There we go. And... We're going to serve, like, you know, level her next, I guess. Ooh, I can get the spell curse. That'd be nice. That's not bad, bad thing to get for her, Balcry. More commands down here. There's an our reserve. Alright, let's just go in this direction maybe at this point, so... We'll get ourselves Vigilance. Maybe. Yeah, we'll get Vigilance. Now, what's actually really nice about her leveling up here is that I can go with this guy. Oh, so that's what, uh, what's happening. Vitality is basically here. Whenever she receives damage, she gets some more health. That's what that effect was happening. I was wondering what's going on for in that battle there. But yeah, let's have her, these guys exchange up, you know, the guys, because, you know, she could now have everyone in her party. And I'm just going to send you home, I guess. So, go home. <clears throat> well, boars are nothing to me, I don't think, so let's go kill him. That's why I'm going to, you know... What's being picked up there, but whatever. Let's get that Earth Band too, by the way. We'll fight this boar. Let the battle commence. And we got ourselves a melee attack power rate increase right there. I'm tempted to jump here, but I don't actually want to do that with this guy around, so. How would you wait? We're going to try and lure him down here first. I can actually get used to the melee attack now as I, you know, being down there. Um, heal up him. You go here and we'll fire a big shot at him. You attacking? Good. 
You get an hour, get an hour shot on my witch hunter, but whatever. Now, can you do 41 damage? No. Oh, well. Setting out. Just sitting up here. Almost killed the boar in one go, but whatever. Oh, he did kill him one go. Dead. Awesome. And let's see here. The Witch Hunter got his health back. Only my Priestess is now basically loss of a little bit of health now. We just, you know, nice one with his battle. But whatever. Let's just keep going on. Some bugs and other stuff over here, apparently, and a scout. Apparently there's an elf over here. You know what, I'll send you up here, I think, but we'll first just damage this guy first. And I'll run away. Let's see here. There's a signpost there. I'll send you up to a yes. Then you go up here. What's going on over here? Goblin. Orca, orca. Horse in ambush. We fight, fight, fight. Stupid goblin. It no ambush. If you yell so loud, if you survive battle, I paint my tent with your blood. Greenskins, charge! Well, we are in an ambush. Which means this guy's very, 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 very dead. We're gonna lose another thief, because why not? Well, let's see if I can actually do retreat now, I guess. You go here and you just try to retreat. You can't leave this battle, because why not? Well, let's go let this guy get killed. I'm actually not, you know, too miffed about this one because of the simple fact that it was uh, like an, an ambush. I shan't fail. So I got hit by ambush, you know. Makes sense. Anyways, let's go up here, I guess. And... Yeah, why not? We're good with this attack. And... Hmm. Let's sit with you first, right now. I think about possibly not fighting this battle, but, you know, whatever. We'll fight anyways. Ouch, but whatever. Let's have you go here and just wait. Then I can strike the goblin for a lot of damage. Let's send you down here. Kill yourself up. That'll give her a little bit of initiative over the goblins. Hmm. 
Let's have you go down here. Zap all them. How would you hit that scout? Your job will be come up here, weigh on this guy. And it seems like a waste to go after this guy now, but whatever. Um, go after this guy. Ooh, we got a critical head and a fog. That's nice. Hit this guy again. Which hunter takes a little bit of damage. You can finish this guy off. Oh, he missed. Let's have you heal up him. Now here's a question. If I actually jump on this, you know, area here, will I be able to zap all these guys with my wizard? Or are they too far away? I forgot to turn on the grid again. Let's do that. Oh, there goes that guy. There's a big hit to him. I think this guy's only got a uh, range of free, so I think this is too far away, this part here, so... Wolves has to zap them like, you know, so. There goes the elf. Gets my witch hunter again, but whatever. There he goes. And boom. My hero has lost a little bit of HP, but it's fine. My priest just got some of her HP back, I think. In the name of the high I think that's what I did. I can't remember. But they're out of the way. Let's get this. Got an artifact, apparently. Trade item. Uh, potion. Potion. Psalm of Death. A ruin here. And a road sign. We'll take that. Apparently you can only read signs of one character at a time, apparently, so that's worth noting. But whatever. Let's go up here. Put our land guardian down. We'll get that earth mana. There's a Goblin Shaman over here. These guys are um, notoriously tough in the last game. Huge area strike on this guy. Lots of health, too. <clears throat> hmm. There's actually a bridge here, by the way. I wonder if it's like the bridge over to like the Griffins over here. Let's go over here. We'll fight this boar here, I think. And let's go. Have you go here? You know what, defend right there. I'm going to have him go here to my archer. You're just going to wait here. He actually went for my archer first there, but well, whatever, that's fine. You can heal up um, the archer.
You can get over here and fire. Nice big hit to him. You can zap him. You can kill him. And then my bush hunter might be able to, you know, rack him here if he's lucky. Yep, easily killed him. Of course, the crook will help, but whatever. There we go. Only priestess is down a little bit of HP now. There's that troll from over there. The burnout house. Our mission shall not fail. You can just keep moving. Yeah, I could be grabbing these like, you know, um, things to keep them moving if longer um, distances if I want to. You know, in some ways, I actually prefer the simplest, like, you know, um, you know, thing about what, what Disciples 1 2 compared to this. In some ways. I mean, having, like, these wells and stuff are cool and all, but... Sometimes the simplistic stuff is a little bit better, I think. On my way. Let's have you go over here. I bet we could get this stuff without being too close, so... Let's do that. Then we'll fight these wolves. You know, I'm gonna say this now. I'll be happy when, like, I'm done, like, the first act of this game, because... The crashes do sort of irritate me a lot in this game. In the darkness of endless strife. But whatever. Well, get it done so you can see what it's all about. Alright, so attack. Um, these guys only move two, so I'm safe for that. Fire at this Plague Wolf. We'll take them out right away. Fly. Nice big hit to that one. I actually don't want these guys getting close to me and attacking me, so you're going to wait. And you can wait. Yeah, they're going to guard themselves, but you know, it's fine, I think. You can wait. Let them come to me a little bit and then I'll attack them later. I'll have you back up. Hit this guy. I'm going to have you go right here and defend yourself. You're going to go up here and attack this guy. Let's buff up my archer because I'll make him a little bit faster. And... Let's have my wizard go up here and attack. Well, I guess I'll attack this guy because I'm moving too far up. <clears throat> my bad. Oh, well. 
Uh, you go over here. Fire at this wolf. Be cool if I take out that one, you know, before he has a chance to hit my wish hunter, so... Take him out. Let's have you go over here and wait. You can go here and attack him. They're both going to attack her. You shall face me. Nice big hit back there. Here comes the Plague Wolf, finally taking his turn to, you know, be a Plagueus. A Plague, you know, nuisance. Let's have you go over here and zap this wolf. I just have to focus all of efforts on this guy. Slash. And miss, apparently. Let's so have you go here. Nice big kiss to him. Well, I'm missing this guy pretty badly. Um, let's give my archer the boost so he gets to go over the wolf. Down he goes. So yeah, that's a, you know, easy battle there. I'll look at it. For most part, I'm just doing a lot of cleanup at this point before we basically jump into the battle over here since I know that's going to be where, you know, things will get tough. There's a potion. Now, can I possibly take on this guy, I wonder? This guy's basically got reduced HP, but of course he's also a troll, so... Um, I don't see anything about regeneration on this guy, so that's good. <clears throat> I think this guy's just very big and very dangerous to, you know, hit stuff with, so... Do I dare? He's got such high damage, so I think it's, if anyone's going to basically go into combat, who's going to like get wrecked for the most part. And all I get is like a hundred gold in the experience for killing him. So maybe. Um, I'm just going to do a quick save here. I think. Because this might be a bad idea, we'll see. <coughs> it seems like this guy's just a big bruiser for the most part, but that's enough to be scary in its own right. And his initiative isn't that bad, to be honest, which is also kind of scary. Alright, you need to go down here as fast as possible, so let's have you wait. You can go here and defend yourself. You're going to go right there, apparently. Let's get you over here. Um, I was hoping... It the archer go, you know, after this guy, but unfortunately he can't apparently, so that sucks. Let's boost you up, I guess. Maybe we'll make you a little bit faster. Not fast enough for me like in a turn order, but whatever. That's you know, is it this what it is? Let's have you go over here. And apparently it's too far away to fire, so is that, but whatever. Just wait.
You'll zap him. Uh, you'll have to defend. Move here and fire. I guess this guy's very well armored, which is interesting. Let's have you defend yourself. Let's have you go up here and wait. I'm going to have the Wish Hunter go here and wait. Let's have you get over here. And boost this guy's, you know, HP up. Basically, I want the archer to just kill this guy as fast as he humanly can. Ooh, there's a critical hit. He's gonna be able to move faster now. Let's do a big hit to him now, I guess. Oh, he missed. Fire again. <clears throat> Alright, the plan here. It's basically, she has to basically stop after this guy and hopefully not die in the process. And this guy will go over here and do his damage, I guess, as well. So, uh oh, he's going to go here now. That was a stupid move. Um, do I have any potions that can help me here? Like, it's basically anything I can give him initiative, I guess. Agility, blah, blah. That's a cool potion. Experience bonus. I don't see anything that gets me a bonus to initiative right away, so... I think my Wish Hunter might get killed in a moment. Unfortunately. Oh well, that's my bad. Let's have you, um, fire, I guess. There's a hit to him. Oh, he didn't move. And she survived. Awesome. There's a hit to him back. Well, you get to go here and slash him in the back. Uh oh, he's going to hit back, I guess, with an interception. So he missed, that's good. Right, let's give her a heal. If I'm lucky, I'll be able to heal her up again. I think this guy's still got interception. No, he's, only, he's got no interception, so... Just way into him. Way into him with everything you've got. It's the only plan here, I guess. There we go. Two hits from my hunter would kill him, but I don't think he'll get those, you know... Yeah, before he gets his turn, unfortunately. Another hit to him. He's going to go after him again. Oh, he can regain, regain health. Well, there's some damage done to him. But of course that's going to give him his combat move again. Give you some health back. There's a hit to him. You have to step off to hit him, but we almost got this guy, so he should be down now. 
Big hit. There he goes. Lots of experience from killing a troll, apparently. Lots of level ups, too. I think that's primarily what this guy was just for, is killing him for the experience. Potion of Lightness, Potion of Restoration, Elixir Repulsion. Alright, next time we'll be dealing with these goblins up here, I guess. Now, if Poof wants to move him, I guess, so... Lampert, you get back to uh, town. And... Into the Citadel you go. So it takes a few uh, few days basically to get back to town, or I guess a few turns, because the day is basically uh, you know a few turns. Let's kill off these goblins. Get a lot of stuff. Kill these guys. Yeah, we'll attack with these guys, why not? I was thinking I'll bring out the Air Witch Hunter, but whatever. Ouch, ouch. But whatever. Uh, hmm. I probably won't need to bring him down here, but I'll try to anyways. Just for the hell of it. Uh, you go here. You know what? Defend yourself. One hit. Two hits. Really like saving my hero, apparently, with that archer. I'm going to move her over here just to heal you up a lot. I'm not sure I'll give a boost initiative, you know, past what she's going to get, but whatever. That's done. Now, if I move her here, this wolf is going to attack her, so let's do that. And I can get her, like, to attack this guy next. There's the intercept. Nice big strike back. You get to go over here. Yeah, hit the wolf. One hit to the wolf. Uh, hit that guy there, why not? Actually killed the wolf there. Let's get you over here. Hit this guy. Let's big hit to him. Going after my hero some more. Bring you up here. Let's hit this imp for a big massive hit. Uh, let's go finish off this goblin view. That's out of the way. Goblin. Yes, goblin. And she takes the beating, but whatever. Get over here and heal her, I guess. Hit the goblin. Hit the goblin again. He gets another turn to kill. 
But you're going to finish it off before it has a chance to go off. All right, there we go. Everyone's dead. In the name of the High Father. Well then, next time I guess we'll deal with that orc, and then we'll go down, you know, to deal with the uh, event that comes after. Stafford, you're safe. Thanks to Sir Lambert, Captain of the Imperial Guard. Let no one say again that no men can care nothing for the common people. You're just in time. I sure to think what would happen to me if you hadn't rise soon. Alas, all I can reward you is my undying thanks and gratitude, for I have nothing to pay you with. Although, wait, my brother should still possess the trinket which we found in the woods just before those filthy orcs found us. There's no need for thanks. Reading the Emperor's land of evil is the duty of a knight, and fulfilling that duty is a great honor and privilege. So, apparently, like, you know, this guy's got something for us. Talk to Cotton. Let's get this. And yeah, I'll note that I could go after a shaman. I bet I'll, like, you know, die trying, but... On my way. Let's go over here. Do another quick save. I don't see how tough this guy's going to be, I guess. Next time. But for now, I think I'll take care for now. We've actually gone pretty far at this point. We've actually at least explored the entire map except for where the griffins are. I'm quite happy about that. Hope you guys have enjoyed the episode thus far. Next time, you know, we'll begin to, like, you know, the next, you know, set of this, like, Act 1. For now, take care.